Continuing coverage of wildfire in Theodore that sparked Friday. WKRG News 5's Asher Red is taking you back to the scene today where he says the fire is smoldering. Yeah, that's right. And although the Alabama Forestry Commission is monitoring the area from both the land and the sky, they do say that these 12 mile an hour winds could possibly rekindle the fire and bring embers across the line. It was just a mess, but uh, by the grace of God, we're still standing. We're still here. A nightmare on Deagle Street leaves 100 acres burnt and still smoldering. Some of the flames house sitter Jody Swainey says were raging just 20 feet from the home. We just pretty much held the, held the line. There wasn't much, wasn't much sleep Friday night. The fire reignited Saturday, leaving firefighters scrambling to prevent the flames from reaching a gas line just south of the area. And for residents who held their ground like Jimmy Azell, a fire reaching a gas line would be enough to make him leave. It's hard to say you'll leave though because when stuff starts happening in a sure place, you just want to do everything you can to keep it from burning down. The AFC says 12 mile an hour winds are enough to carry embers over the perimeter to more fuel. However, Swainey says keeping the yard cut back prevents the fire from reaching the house. In a way, we're feeling pretty safe now because there really isn't anything left to burn, you know, up, up close to the house. So today's probably the clearest day smoke wise that we've had in the last week. Investigators don't know how this fire began, but they say many wildfires like this one accidentally start when people burn debris. Eight agencies responded to the fire. And without them, my place would have it been gone. In what used to be thick woods, Swainey says, is nothing more than a pile of ash. That's the first time I've ever seen that motorhome over there. And the first over here, I can see buildings, which I've never been able to see before. You get back here, you kind of felt like you were the only people in the world. But uh, turns out there's a lot of people out there. In Mobile County, Asher Red, WKRG News 5.